I've been asked, who is Jesus? He's the human face of God, and he spoke profoundly of simple things like the lilies of the field and the salt of the earth. He, he um, also was firmly in the prophetic tradition of Isaiah and Amos and Jeremiah, uh, lifting up a vision for us of the proposed world of love and mercy and compassion, which does not yet exist, but it is an alternate view of reality to that of the perceived world, the imperfect world in which we live. And he energizes us by inviting us to live, so live in the perceived world, ordinary world, and though it were already informed by the proposed world of love and mercy and compassion. He came that I might have life and might have it more abundantly. And in that sense, he offers salvation to everyone and he is our savior. Let's unpack that word salvation. Its linguistic roots are very interesting. In Hebrew, salvation means wide, spacious, liberated, free, not pushed into a corner as happened to the Jewish people. In Greek, the word salvation linguistically means deliverance, deliverance from all that impedes my growth, from ignorance, from superstition, from unknown perils. And linguistically in Latin, the word salvation means authenticity of being, integrity of being, being sound, just what a human being ought to be. So in that sense of being wise, spacious, liberated, free, delivered from all that impedes my growth and being authentically myself, Jesus is my savior. How did I come to know him? I came to know him through faith communities called by Paul, the body of Christ. In my university days, I was part of the student Christian movement campus. And one of our first actions was to protest the internment of the Japanese Canadians into interior of Canada during the war. And that encouraged me to embrace alternate images of reality to that of the prevailing society. Um, I, I found it again in Argentina when as moderator, I was visiting our partners, the Methodists, and it was under the dirty war in the 80s. And they were putting up a, a quiet but strong resistance to the dictators. And the Mothers of May Square marched every Thursday in front of the Houses of Parliament, asking for their news of their destroyed young ones. Incredibly hard and strong community of resistance to tyranny. And then finally, through the hard and faithful struggle of Christians in South Korea, during the struggle of democracy in the 80s, I saw it again when Christians were sent to prison and executed. What images of Jesus do I struggle with? Well, I don't really struggle with them. I simply reject them. One is Solomon's head of Christ, where he appears as white and male and beatific, none of which are, in my view, what Jesus was. And certain Hollywood films I reject also, particularly when they try to depict the crucifixion. And they do it in all its horror so that it becomes nothing less than religious pornography. So I think we've got a long way to go in terms of imaging Jesus in authentic ways. Thank you very much.